I'll never forget hearing a story when I was in India. Uh, the folks in this village told me when the British missionaries first came here, uh, they were very poor as far as the British were concerned, but they were very rich as far as we were concerned. And if they had come to our doors, we would have felt obligated to invite them in. And they would have seen how desperately poor we were. We had nothing to give them, even a little food. And uh, we would have been so ashamed, we could never could have looked them in the eye. And so um, the missionaries arrived and, and they called into our home and said, uh, could we use the shade of your tree to have our lunch? And we said, yes, they could. And then they said, you know, we really brought too much food just for ourselves. Would you come out and share, uh, help us eat this food? And they said, we loved them because we knew what they were doing. They were providing an opportunity on an equal level to minister to us without reaching down and humiliating us. Notice what we read uh, in chapter 3, Titus 3, verses 1 and 2. Remind those who are subject to be subject to rulers and authorities to obey, to be ready for every good work, to speak evil of no one, to be peaceable, gentle, showing all humility to all men. Now, when we work in the community, people are sensitive, especially today, hypersensitive about political positions, about uh, racial issues, about uh, moral issues, and we need to walk softly. We need to be careful with this. I remember when I first came down here, uh, I met with two uh, African-American Christians and I asked them for help because I hadn't really worked a lot in that community. And uh, one of them said to me, well, um, you just have to remember that the three members of the Trinity are Martin Luther King Jr., President Obama, and Jesus Christ. If you say anything negative about any of those three, you might as well pack your bags and go home. And I realized that when people asked me about the president, uh, they were testing me. And they wanted to understand if I was sympathetic, if I cared. And instead of passing judgment on his uh, economic policy or his uh, position on, on world government, um, my, my issue was to uh, emphasize something in a positive way, as we read here, that I was to be peaceable and gentle and not to speak evil of anyone and show humility. And so to say something like, well, as far as I know, the president is loyal to his wife and he loves his children, and that's a great example. If you're asking me what do I think about his uh, financial policies, I don't even balance my own checkbook. Uh, so I would s slip past that issue, and the scripture says not to speak evil of dignity. Sometimes we, we as Christians become very vocal in issues that undermine our audience, undermine our influence in the community because uh, we've come across as pseudo-politicians or something instead of as ambassadors for Christ. So we not only need to prepare our resources, we read that we are to be ready for every good work. That means I need to have a little cash in my pocket perhaps to help someone on the street. Uh, just last week, uh, an old lady in a beat up car, obviously I think she was living in her car, uh, she stopped me in the Lowe's parking lot and said, sir, W would you have any money to help me buy supper? And um, well, I said, you know, I'd, I'd like a date. If, you, if you'd like to go along with me, I'll take you over to the restaurant and I'll have supper with you. And I was able to share the gospel with her. This dear soul, uh, her family had dispersed, a son had been killed, a daughter was gone somewhere, and she was all alone in the world, uh, named, a lady named Connie, if you think to pray for her. And, and we realized that uh, if we're going to be effective, we have to have resources. We need to uh, know where is the crisis pregnancy center in town? Do I have the phone number for the women's shelter, for the homeless shelter? Uh, do I know where there are resources in town to help people in need? And so we need to be prepared and ready for every good work. And we need to have our hearts prepared that we come in humility. It's, uh, we've, we've turned the word charity into a bad word in many people's minds because we reach down to people instead of getting down to people and humbly ministering. And so we need to be humble towards all men.